Good morning, afternoon, weekend, Monday, Friday, whichever to you, Aheadians. Welcome to another episode of the Life and Ahead podcast. Today, we're delving deep into the heart of Ahead's Total Rewards team, shining a spotlight on the folks behind our comprehensive benefits packages. Have you ever wondered why we add new offerings to our list of benefits? What's driving these changes? And why do they matter? I'm your host, Nick Rodriguez, and we'll be answering these questions and more as we chat with the dedicated members of Ahead's Total Rewards team. We'll also be talking to some of our own Aheadians who have benefited from these remarkable programs. You'll hear their personal stories of transformation and how these benefits have made a significant impact on their lives. Join us as we delve into the details of these innovative programs, exploring how they've been a game changer for our Ahead team. And you'll get a unique perspective on the true difference they make from the individuals who've experienced them firsthand. So get ready for a down to earth discussion about the perks that make Ahead not just a workplace, but a great place to work. Let's get started. Welcome folks, I have Amy Taylor here with me today. Amy, how are you doing? Doing great, Nick, glad to be here. Yeah, super excited to have you on the podcast. Uh, for our listeners who don't know you, do you mind introducing yourself and telling us a little bit about your role? Absolutely, my name's Amy Taylor, Director of Total Rewards. I've been with AHEAD since Round Tower back in 2020 when we were acquired. And my role has been really to oversee the development and scale of AHEAD's benefits offerings as well as general people and culture or HR operational efficiencies, applying the appropriate technology and aligning with IT where necessary. Outside of work, I have three French Bulldogs and regularly have my niece and nephew with partial custody. Previously, I had been seriously dedicated with my own personal wellness, losing over 100 pounds when I was at Round Tower. Wellness is very near and dear to my heart, but even with that, it's always something we need to be reminded of. It's the first item we push aside when we have life priorities. Absolutely. Wellness is so key. I've uh, been on a couple wellness journeys for myself. I think, you know, there's never is really like a... I don't want to call an end to it sort of thing, but there's definitely a multiple starts along the way, at least speaking from my experiences. And uh, it's never too late to hop back onto the wellness train. Uh, Absolutely. So. I'm trying to hop back on mine right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're, we're getting into the season. Grandma's <laughs> not going to let me just get away with one cookie. We're going to have to do a couple slices of pie at Thanksgiving and everything. But I think, you know, understanding that you, you can have those treats, but... Um, you know, just making sure you factor in for wellness on the other ends and it can all work out. Sweet. So I know it's the time of the year. Open enrollment's coming soon. Uh, by the time this episode launches, open enrollment might already be open. So can you provide a, our listeners with an overview of a HEADS comprehensive benefits package and what's new this year? Sure thing. We provide a comprehensive benefits program ranging from robust medical plans with nationwide Blue Cross Blue Shield plan as well as the state-specific offerings with Kaiser and HMSA, which are available for California and Hawaii residents, respectively. Within our Blue Cross plans, though, employees have access to a traditional PPO, so thank co-pays when you go to the doctor, as well as a high-deductible plan with an HSA, into which it had makes a very generous above-market contribution. In either of these plans, our employees also have access to amazing virtual PT programs via Hinge Health, as well as virtual weight management and diabetes programs via Livongo. Plus, if you are enrolled in any of these medical plans, then you're automatically enrolled in our telehealth program with First Stop Health. It actually allows you to add up to seven household dependents free of charge. And that's even if any of those dependents are not on your medical plan and on your spouse's plan, for example. It gives you access to speak to a doctor who can even write you prescriptions based on virtual visits for many common health concerns. These visits are covered with no copay at all. Then we have dental programs with Delta Dental, a base and a buy it feature, which allows you to enhance your dental plan for the year in which you're planning additional coverage. Vision with VSP is a traditional vision program. Then through Lincoln, we offer short-term and long-term disability plans. We cover basic life insurance as well as voluntary life insurance and offer are those classic FSA plans and a 401k with a dollar for dollar match up to $4,500. Now for the new things. 
For 2024, we're offering pet insurance through MetLife, which allows you to customize your plans where you get to design your co-insurance level, your deductible, as well as your annual maximums to best meet your needs. This allows you the flexibility, for instance, to pay more monthly and have greater coverage or pay less monthly and just have a higher deductible. We're excited to make this available. We see all those pet posts on TWA and we want to have coverage in place to help take care of our furry family members as well. Then we will also be introducing a new communications campaign via texting. We will allow employees to opt in and out within UKG, depending on how you prefer to receive your communications and if you prefer to receive them via text or email only. We want to ensure everyone has the opportunity to update or opt into their insurance during this enrollment period. That's amazing. So I, I want to circle back on a couple things. One, the HSA, I totally agree. I think it's super generous. I use it. I'm a big fan. I actually used that to help me with my ACL MCL surgery uh, a couple of years ago. The Delta dental plan, I actually got Invisalign, my teeth are all good to go. I've got glasses on. So like head to toe, I've been covered by our benefits packages at Ahead, and I think they've been really great and they've helped me out personally. I'm actually also really excited to see how the pets uh, community is going to react to the new pet insurance. I think this is amazing. I know people have been asking for it. I've kind of heard word, you know, a little buzz on the street. And this is going to be a really awesome perk and benefit that we're going to be offering people in the next year. And then the last thing, I was just at a different uh, office than I usually am at. I was up in our Libertyville uh, Engineered Solutions facility, and it was amazing. But I did notice that like not everyone's always like our other offices, computer front. So having that text message communication channel open up really improves the accessibility, and I'm excited about that. Absolutely. We even put up text signage in that office. That way people know what's coming in case they don't get to see the, the emails coming out. Yeah, exactly. You're like, send an email about people getting texts, and you're like, oh, they're already not getting email. All right, all right, we'll figure <laughs> it out. Yeah. So, you know, I'm looking at this, uh, you know, we're looking at what we already have and we're looking at what's new. I'm kind of, I want to take it a level deeper and I want to understand what, like, what is AHEAD's philosophy or strategy behind our benefits package? Absolutely. So AHEAD aims to provide access to quality, affordable benefits that provide the best value for their costs in that enable AHEADians to know they have appropriate coverage in place so they can focus on doing the things we most enjoy around here. Aside from us who are dedicated to this stuff, like me, thinking about health insurance isn't exactly more people's cup of tea. So we work to ensure our folks can have some peace of mind in this area. And if they have any unique situations crop up, we're here to help. Yeah, totally. I've, uh, you know, that HR ticket on our UKG platform, super responsive. And I think just in general, what I've been re like, I already know this, but what I've been re-realizing, I don't know if that's a thing, a, a second awakening, is just how people-focused everyone is at Ahead. Um, I've recently been doing some interviews with people. I've got other content coming out. And when a lot of the times when I'm asking what everyone's favorite thing is, it's people. It's helping people out. It's making sure that people are set up for success. And so knowing people like you are behind our benefits package and understanding what our philosophy is, it definitely brings peace of mind to me. So thank you. Absolutely. We love doing that in people and culture. Yeah. And so um, back to kind of the benefits overview, I heard a lot of virtual stuff, right? I'm hearing virtual PT. I'm hearing diabetes weight management. I'm hearing telehealth. Uh, what inspired ahead to add these new benefits like telehealth, virtual PT, and these diabetes programs? Sure. Well, as most of us know, we grow every year by mergers and acquisitions. That's what brought me here. This brings us a new knowledge base of people and culture professional, as well as a new package of benefit plans that we ultimately compare to ours in the merge. Then when we merge the incoming Ahedians to our benefit plans, we hear feedback. So in that comparison overview we give, I listen to the feedback on the items we don't have. I take notes of things we could possibly add in the future years here. And they stay on my radar until we are able to either address a similar need. Maybe it's not the exact same plan or the exact same provider or we decide it's ultimately not of sufficient value to add to our offering. So some examples of this are Round Tower actually had telehealth insurance and pet insurance, 
and had very good feedback with using Delta Dental and BSP. Tavares also had good experience and really missed Delta Dental and BSP. VCOR employees voiced loving the addition of Livongo, which was embedded within their BCBS package with Blue Cross. We begin looking into the wins and the cost of these over the years, and then finally have been able to add all of them between 2022, 2023, and just finalizing the last one with pet insurance here in 2024. Yeah, that's great. It sounds like we're like when we're doing these mergers and acquisitions, part of a heads business model. I, I I think it's very easy to be like, cool, we get their clients, we get their people, we get their solutions. But I'm th- I personally wasn't thinking about the different kind of benefit plans and what they might be used to. So it sounds like we're looking at everyone, what they're used to, what's worked in the past, what they're used to having, and kind of bringing all that together and making the you know the best of the best for everyone. Yeah, it's like a melting pot of a head benefits. There we go. I like that. Very cool way to think about it. What are some of like the, I know we're talking about like what inspires this, right? Like we're looking at M&A, listening to feedback, but can you share some of the driving factors behind these changes and how these benefit our employees? Sure. The driving factors behind all benefits are what do our headians really value the most? And what can a head offer that is at a market competitive rate to our employees? No one's going to pick up an offering if it's, you know, outrageously in cost. In cost. While we learned about others valuing some of our telehealth initiatives, for instance, the driving factor behind adding it in recent years was to enable a head to remove any barriers in care, while also addressing the gap in our employees' voice during the merge. Quite frequently, for instance, employees do not continue with physical therapy as it's just too time consuming. You know, you're, you have three PT appointments for the week. You have to drive 20 minutes, maybe 45 minutes to the doctor and back, wait in the doctor's office, sit in traffic. And people just don't do that long term, right? I mean, I've personally done the same thing. I do it a week and I'm done with it and I get no value. Mm -hmm. So now employees can do this anywhere. The best part is if an Ahedian doesn't have access to Wi-Fi, Hinge Health will actually provide you a Wi-Fi enabled tablet, truly helping Ahed close any gaps in care related to accessibility. I love that. That's amazing. I'm glad that we have these kind of benefits that are removing those barriers and increasing accessibility, especially to healthcare. I think a lot of the times it can be intimidating to start something. And, you know, also, like you're saying, time consuming, you're talking about driving, waiting, paying for parking, getting in there. It's just kind of like, man, this is like you're already paying 20, 30 bucks before you even get into the doctor's office sometimes. So uh, it's really awesome that we're offering these benefits to employees that can increase the accessibility to healthcare. That's awesome. So I'm hearing about kind of your thought process, our strategy, our philosophy, how you got started a little bit, but what are you like most passionate about in your role? So I am a very solutions improvement oriented person. So I love driving initiatives to both improve the efficiency in a head's offerings, as well as being able to deliver a solution or a benefit offering that really enables people to take better care of themselves and their families. When a head enables you to take care of yourself the best, you can bring your best self to work. And that is what delivering comprehensive benefit solution is all about you. You are our biggest asset here at Ahead. People can't see me on video, but I'm doing the finger snaps. I am all about that. That is amazing, Amy. I love it. We are so glad to be able to offer these and and work for Ahead who enables us to be able to do this. Yeah, fantastic. Well, I'm looking forward to open enrollment. Uh, I know my wife and I are going to be looking at the package and uh, figuring out what we're going to be signing up for. Uh, So for the folks who are listening and you're an AHEAD employee, Amy, correct me if I'm wrong, but our open enrollment is going to be from November 6th through November 17th. They're offering some office hour sessions for you to go and ask any questions that you might have after you reviewed our benefits package. Uh, I know I'm probably going to attend at least one of those because I always have questions, but the good news is I know that you and your team always have answers. Folks, mark your calendars. If you don't work it ahead, check out our sweet benefits and you can listen to this and uh, hopefully you can see the kind of value and uh, that we offer our employees and what our focus is here. So Amy, thank you for your time. Thank you. Welcome back, folks. I have Joe Barnes here with me today. Joe, how are you doing? I'm doing excellent, Nick. Excellent. That's awesome. I usually get good or well. It's not too often I get excellent. So you look primed and ready for today's podcast. I'm super excited to have you here. Oh, yeah. It's a pleasure to be on here. I'm I'm very excited. Very cool. So uh, I got to meet you, but for the folks who are listening who don't know you, do you mind introducing yourself and telling us a little bit about your role? Yeah, absolutely. So for those of you who don't know, I am a people operations specialist here at AHEAD. 
with my main responsibility and focus being in benefits. I uh, live in Illinois and I work out of the Libertyville office. My hobbies outside of work are Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, music, PC gaming, and fitness. And I currently hold the rank of purple belt in Jiu Jitsu and I've been training for six years. Wow, purple belt, that's, uh, that's impressive. Yeah, yeah, it's taken me a while to get there, you know, for it took me about five years. And they say, um, once you get your purple belt, you're about halfway up the mountain, the ranks go white, blue, purple, brown, black. So I'm right in that middle sweet spot right now. <laughs> Man, very cool. Congrats. That's amazing. Thanks. Thanks so much. So yeah, some of my previous career experiences include roles in accounting, finance, and payroll. But here at Ahead, I mainly focus on uh, benefits administration and data analyzation. And basically what I do is I look to improve our benefits package while having a strong financial awareness for the company and our employees. Yeah. And so that last part there, you and I got to, I, I had the pleasure of meeting you when you were in Chicago for a conference recently and we were hanging out and you had mentioned that that's kind of what your role is having this focus. And I had never realized that's how people kind of kind of take a look at our benefits package. You know, me as a consumer of the benefits, I get an email once a year, open enrollments coming soon, the window happens, I have a lot of questions, I'm super intimidated. But to hear someone like you talk about benefits in the way that you do, I was like, whoa, we have to tell the story. And this is basically what has inspired the episode. So I'm super uh, excited to have you on here today. Yeah, it's, it's surprising how much uh, data analytics and, you know, financial analytics go into uh, benefits administration. Um, and it's definitely one of my main passions about the role for sure. Yeah. And I'd love to explore that a little bit more. Can you tell me more about the, you know, your, what, what are you most passionate about in your role? Absolutely. So one of the things I'm most passionate about is the opportunity to take large data sets um, of ours and paint a picture with it to help the company make stronger and more educated decisions on our benefits. In addition to that, I very much enjoy assisting employees in their times of need. It's a great feeling when an employee is truly grateful and thanks you for your service. Most of the time when I'm assisting an employee, it has financial or medical implications. So it's incredibly important to handle each question or request as carefully and as soon as possible. Yeah, I love that approach. So I used to run a, uh, I'll call it a proposal design team for sales. And a lot mm -hmm. of the times it can feel like fire drills and everything. And I'm not saying that these deals aren't important. They are. It's what our business, you know, it's, right. it's how we have a business, it's why I have a job, et cetera. But when you're working with what the stuff that you're working on, it feels very real. And that's awesome that you're passionate about it. Yeah, it kind of brings you to that ground level um, with with the the employee, and you know you're dealing with you know families and dependents and all kinds of things that are incredibly important to the employee. So you know when you when you get those requests and and they're urgent, um, you really feel the the weight of those requests, and it's you know it feels so good when you handle it and the employee's happy and thankful. So well, yeah, I'm gonna say it right now. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Absolutely. My pleasure. So what drives your dedication to evaluating and finding ways to improve our benefits? Yeah, that's a good question, Nick. Um, I would say improving the employee experience and retaining our talent is what drives me most to continue to evaluate and improve our benefits package. You know, I think when you get a new job, one of the most important pieces of that is your benefits package, as it's part of your total compensation as an employee. If we can stay ahead of the curve and continue to offer a wide variety of benefits at rates that are proportionate to market standards, we can not only retain our talent, but attract new talent as well. Ahead has a great culture and benefits package, and we're consistently looking for various ways to improve it for our employees. Yeah, I um, was speaking with Amy earlier today, and she was kind of giving a rundown on the benefits, and I'm like, yep, I've used that. Yep, I've used that. Yep, I've used that. I mean, like, I, I Invisalign for my teeth. I tore my ACL, MCL. I've got glasses. There's all these things that, like, and, and that's just at the surface, right, of what, I, right. Of, of what I'm leveraging for the benefits. But the new stuff that's coming out, I'm like, this is great stuff. Yeah, it, you know, and recently, you know, you had discussed we had met uh, downtown after after the conference Amy and I had attended. And basically, this conference was showcasing um, benefits to all of the employers that are interested in becoming partners with them. And it's, it is really incredible to see how um, ahead of the curve ahead has been um, in the benefits realm of everything. They, you know, ahead really offers a wide variety of benefits. And it was great to see that. Yeah, 100%. That's amazing. So how do you see your role contributing to the overall well-being and job satisfaction of ahead employees? 
Sure. So my role contributes, I believe, to the overall well-being and job satisfaction here at AHEAD by providing excellent service to our employees when they're in crucial need of support of their benefits. When there's an issue with your medical insurance or your 401k, I'm the person that's going to be able to solve that issue. I think it provides our employees a sense of security, knowing that they can receive assistance for any of our benefits at any time by simply submitting an HR ticket. I believe in whole, this improves job satisfaction as it is reassuring to as an employee, knowing that you have a reliable team of total rewards experts to guide you through any issues at hand. Yeah, what I find really interesting is um, for our listeners who don't know, I also manage our employee recognition program. And you see a lot of recognition around the exact same things you're talking about, right? Making creative problem solving, being incredibly driven, being client focused, right? Your clients are the ahead employees. And so you hear that pretty frequently in other roles that we have at this company, whether it's in marketing or our opportunity assessment team, talent acquisition, whatever it might be, but shame on me maybe, but this is kind of the first time that I'm thinking about having that perspective for total rewards. And it's awesome to hear that we have people just as dedicated, just as driven, just as passionate about solving problems when it comes to our benefits and my well-being. So I'm so glad that you're on our team. Yeah, hey, thanks so much. You know, there, like I said earlier, you know, you really are at the ground level of the employee and you're dealing with, you know, problems, problems with their families and dependents and insurances and stuff like that. So it, it, I think it's nice as an employee knowing that you have a reliable team of experts to kind of walk you through all those experiences to ensure that, you know, everything is flawless and seamless and and um, that you're well taken care of. So I think that's what um, our department uh, in Total Rewards does really well. Yeah. Plus, if I need someone to throw someone else into a quick arm bar or something like that, I know who to call. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Uh, so <laughs> Yeah. What are some of the most exciting aspects of your role? Wow. Yeah, that's it. That's a good one. I would say the most exciting aspect of my job is being involved in the decision making processes surrounding our benefits. You know, being able to provide data or my opinion to help an executive or director make a decision is exciting. Most of the times these decisions, they impact the business and our employees financially and strategically. So the importance of these decisions can weigh heavy, not only on the person making decision, the decision, but, you know, what that how that decision impacts the employee. So it's really awesome being a part of that process uh, when this decision can be so impactful to the business. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, um, one of my previous episodes was stories of impact. Uh, I also have another episode coming out about living our values. And it's all focused around what our new mantra is, which is impact. And I think they hit the nail on the head with that word, with what the culture is like here. And I'm so fortunate to be able to explore these stories in different ways people can make an impact, right? And especially when you feel empowered to have that kind of impact on the business where you're bringing your skills set your expertise and your point of view and and, and enabling people to make easier decisions faster like that's impactful and there's so many ways to be impactful and it's awesome to hear uh, your perspective on that yeah thanks so much and you know that's what the company does really well is it allows employees to make decisions and be impactful in their roles and you know it has that um, almost like an entrepreneurial feel to it and um, it's a very it's a very fun company to work for and you know you're not just a cog in the wheel you know you're a part of something um, much bigger and, and you have an impact here. So it's really, really cool to be a part of it. Fantastic. Well, Joe, thank you so much for sharing your story, sharing your time and uh, being on the podcast with us today. Excellent. Thanks so much, Nick. My pleasure. Welcome back listeners. I am here with Chris Young today. Chris, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you, Nick? I'm doing excellent. I'm super excited to get to ask you some questions kind of about our benefits and your background and your passions and everything. But before we get started, do you mind introducing yourself and telling us a little bit about your role? Sure thing. Um, like I said, I'm Chris Young. I've been at Ahead for a little over two months at this point. Uh, I'm responsible for serving the compensation, benefits, and people analytics functions. Uh, been in HR for about 15 years, focused on comp benefits and analytics for most of that time. On the personal side, I live in the Houston area and um, married to my wife of 11, no, 12 years. So I hope she doesn't hear this. It's 12 years. <laughs> uh, and we have one daughter who is six and a cat who is 16 and an uh, unofficial member of the PNC family. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Well, uh, super excited to have you on the podcast today and um, to learn more about kind of our benefits and, you know, what's driving all of this. And so my first question for you is, what are you most passionate about in your role? 
It's, a, it, it's hard to pin that one down exactly to one thing. I mean, honestly, I love the vast majority of what I do. I, I geek out over large spreadsheets, and much to my wife's chagrin, uh, my love language is Excel. <laughs> uh, I really enjoy discussing comp issues with managers, uh, and I really relish opportunities to share, to teach or mentor as opportunities arise. Even in this virtual world, uh, when those come up, I love getting the opportunity to do that. And really related to that is one of my favorite things about benefits, which is getting to teach and educate people about their benefits and really how to maximize the value of the benefits that are available to them. Yeah, you're actually hitting on two things that really intimidate me. The first is Excel. I am terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I am terrible with spreadsheets. Uh, anybody who knows me, I'm a PowerPoint guy. I referenced this in some of my previous episodes, but I, I led a proposal design team. So like PowerPoint, I am incredibly proficient at. Excel, I am the exact opposite in. And the second thing that's really intimidating is benefits. Uh, I think a lot of the time, it just feels like there's a lot of pressure. For me, it feels like there's a lot of pressure. There's a small window to make very big decisions about my health and well-being and fine, like fiscally as well for the next year. So I always kind of get like really nervous when this stuff is happening. So it's awesome that you're passionate about teaching and educating folks. Yeah, very much love that. And, and benefits definitely can feel a little bit intimidating. And, and I understand that. It, it used to be intimidating for me as well. And I have to remember... Yeah, I, I work in this full time pretty much now, but that's not the case for most people. So you know, if, if there are other folks out there on the listeners who kind of feel the same way, uh, there are a couple options I'd, I'd try to suggest, uh, maybe avail yourself of a couple opportunities. Uh, we'll be sending some communications out, of course, uh, to let people know here's what's going on, here's what's changing. But we also have education sessions, and there's going to be one hosted each week of open enrollment to to dial in. We'll do a presentation, but there's live Q&A, too. And we love questions. And one of the things is that you're thinking to yourself, ah, no one else is wondering. If you're wondering it, I'll bet you a shiny quarter in Vegas that there are a bunch of other people who are wondering the same thing. So ask the question, even if it's really fundamental. Frankly, those are probably the best questions to ask. Like, could someone please explain what is the PPO plan versus this HDHP with an H? Like, what's the difference? Like, I can see what changed, or I can see what the dollars are, but could someone help explain what is like mechanically, how does this affect what happens when I yeah. go to the doctor, when I go to Walgreens or CVS? I love those questions. But in benefits, we all love those questions. They're great. And those are things I think can really help to begin demystifying what can otherwise be a, a language that's just not what no normal people use uh, in, their, in their day to day lives. So yeah, take advantage of these live opportunities to ask questions of real people. And uh, of course, we have materials posted on Archie as well. You can submit questions or help uh, through uh, HR tickets in UKG. But yeah, dial in for one of the live sessions and talk to some real humans who would love to answer questions like that. Yeah. And when I was talking with uh, Joe Barnes, uh, he had explained about his like passion and helping people and kind of like how impactful it can be. And it, it was a, a, an amazing revelation to be like, you know, we're surrounded by so many tech folks who are really passionate about solving complex problems for our clients. But in, inside of our shared services, inside of the, the, our operations of this company, there are people who are just equally as passionate about what they're doing. And it's something I didn't consider before. So it's awesome to be talking to people who are passionate about my health and my well-being and the benefits I'm receiving. So um, speaking of passions and dedications, I'm curious what drives your dedication to benefits education and helping people maximize what's available to them. Oh, it's, it's so fun. Oh, man. Where did it begin, though? Okay. Uh, if I had to figure out what, where did this really start? You know, what comes to mind would be <laughs> back in the olden days. I'm going to date myself with this reference. But back in my early 20s, you know, I was out of college. I was uh, at my first, uh, my first big kid job out of school. Uh, living alone, I got into watching the Susie Orman show. But I was really drawn into the, the way her show worked. She did these topical deep dives in each episode. They had this practical application section in, in each show as well, where people would call in and talk about their personal situations in very specific detail. And she'd be asking all about, among other things, like what's, what's your debt history? What do your credit cards look like? That kind of jazz. But a lot would be asking about you know, benefits related things too. Tell me about your 401k. Are you taking advantage of, the, of your company match? And at that time I was again fresh out of HR school and I was working in an HR business partner role. I wasn't dedicated 100% to, to benefits, but I dealt with benefits a lot and helping people understand about their 401k and the 401k match. 
helping them understand what it, what is the company's PPO versus HMO or FSAs versus HSAs was part of what I was doing every day. And I was able to put into practice the kind of coaching and educating that I'm watching Susie do on TV. And it was just really fun to get to see the the impact that you could make and the and the difference you can make for someone who then kind of gets that light bulb moment of, oh, that's what the difference is, or that's how it affects me right now for my current life situation. And then um, I really got to reinforce a lot of that uh, a couple of HR jobs later when I was really dedicated to comp and benefits. Uh, this one role, I was supporting about 800 to 1,000 people, depending on the, the particular cycle we were in. And I was the sole benefits administrator. So open enrollment was a busy time. So for two weeks, I'm literally like virtually living at the office until eight o'clock at night, calling people and interrupting dinner. And I felt horrible doing it to answer the questions that they would send in. There's just not enough hours in the day to do it during regular business hours. And I kid, and it was, it was weird, but I kid you not, every time I'm calling someone at home, they were so happy to talk. And like, yeah, of course I can talk right now. Yeah, let, let me put my fork down and you know get my spouse on the phone. Let me just go you know step over to the side and, and we can talk about the, these issues. They were so incredibly eager to talk and to learn. And when we talked about their situation and they really understood how to make an election that was right for them, because there's never one right answer. A good benefits design will have a variety of options that will be right for different people in different situations at different times of their lives or their financial situations. And when I could tell that they figured out this is the right one for me and I realized I'm making a difference and I'm helping these people make good decisions for themselves, that was just the best feeling. So it's that kind of background that really informs what I love doing in this capacity now. That's great, Chris. And you know, you mentioned this in your previous answer and you talked about it a little bit in this one, but there's making decisions and in theory, like what your benefits or whatever it might be is or are. And then there's what it looks like in real life. How is this applied, right? Like you had mentioned, like, what's it going to actually feel like? Or how will this transact when I go to the doctor, when I go to my pharmacist, whatever it is. And I think it's so important to when you're educating hit on all those levels. I just ran, uh, I just uh, facilitated a workshop with a student organization outside of the, the University of Cincinnati. And it's a workshop on PowerPoint best practices. And so uh, basically, I kind of talk about in theory, like what you should be aiming for and how you should conduct a presentation. But my slide right after that is what does this actually look like in real life, right? And it's like an example of bad, an example of good. And so I get to kind of show like, hey, theoretically, this is what you want to do. But when you go to apply it, this is how it actually looks. And I think when you have that, when you bridge that gap, for me, that's how I learn. And so I think it's awesome that that's also what you're considering when you're talking about benefit education. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the most exciting aspects of your job? I feel like I've already talked about the 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 coaching and the and the the teaching aspect of it because I I do definitely love that. But I, there, there's so many things outside of just the benefits from that I that I get to do that I love. And uh, I've, like I said, I've only been here for a few months, so I'm still kind of discovering. I think what what this role is and what this role can be. Uh, part of it, honestly, I was just talking to a friend this morning actually uh, about one of the things I really like, and it's it's getting to work with these amazing coworkers. I, I hope that doesn't sound like an overly pat answer, but. Uh, like the quality of things that the this PNC team and really uh, like the the total rewards HRIS team are, are able to do with awesome coworkers like Joe. I know you you referenced talking to Joe earlier and Amy. The work they do is fantastic, and the way that they're also able to to leverage technology or efficiencies, and also the human touch to take care of our employees or to identify benefit improvements that really actually add value. It, it's exciting to, to get to work in, in an environment where it's not just, hey, I've got this one problem, let's go you know, play whack-a-mole and, and address these problems. Those are important and they're necessary, but to be working with folks who are also able to kind of leverage technology and leverage process design to make things better systematically, it's, it's exciting each day to, to be part of a team like that. Yeah, that, that's definitely a, a, a outside of coaching and, and teaching on the benefit side. That's one of the more uh, exciting things I'm really enjoying about this role here. Yeah, definitely. So for the listeners who don't know, I had worked at AHEAD for eight years and then I had a brief hiatus for about 10 months where I worked at a different company. And I will say the number one thing that I missed was the people. 
the people who are working here, like the relationships I've built over the time and just how amazing everyone is. I think a really great example of this is just this past week, I was at our Libertyville office where our engineered solutions group uh, team works out of their facility and felt like a new kid at school. I'm outside the door <laughs> waiting for the access code to open up. And I, I, I know maybe like two people's names that I'm supposed to be meeting with that day. And the door opens up and Jeremy's there. He goes by Jay-Z and immediately walks up, shakes my hand, welcomes me in, kind of directs me around a little bit of places. I'm like, this guy's great. And I start introducing myself to other people and everyone's like really excited to to meet me and to just kind of like catch up and to learn about each other. And I'm like, awesome. The people here are also awesome. And it's amazing to be surrounded by such passionate and, you know, friendly folks here at ahead. Passionate, smart, and just good humans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things that you were also touching on earlier that I think, you know, sometimes we, we might not immediately consider is uh, through our sales function and through a majority of what our company does, right? We're all about being client focused, but our shared services and the folks who are supporting the, the, the people at this company are also client focused, but their clients are the people who work here. And I, I feel that, especially when I'm talking to you and the rest of the uh, total rewards and compensation team, it's just like, oh, I'm your client. And like, you really <laughs> care about me. And it's awesome. It feels great. Mm -hmm. And is wanting to, to listen to the clients and be receptive to what are they telling us and saying that is a value to them? What do they need in terms of the benefits design or offerings or education and handholding or office hour opportunities? What really will make a difference for them and being receptive to that? So that way we can use our resources, our limited time, and we're all human. We have limited capacity. We want to use that to the best effect that we can to make sure that people are getting what they need when they need it. Yeah, well, uh, Chris, I am so excited that you are now part of our team and that you're also bringing that kind of same energy and spirit. And as one of your clients, I feel very, <laughs> I, I feel very appreciated and uh, taken care of. So thank you. Fantastic. Absolute pleasure. Awesome. Well, Chris, it's been amazing having you on the podcast today. Thank you for joining us and uh, looking forward to open enrollment this year. Thank you much. Thanks for having me on and having the uh, rest of the team on as well. We are looking forward to open enrollment as well. And again, just encouraging folks, take advantage of the opportunities coming your way. Read the emails. We, we put them together for a reason and take advantage of those live sessions as well. Please bring your questions. I would love for us to get to chat with you directly about what's on your mind so we can help make sure that you are squared away for open enrollment this year. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. Take care. All right. Welcome, listeners. I have Sarah Parsons with me here today. Sarah, how are you doing? I'm doing great. And you? Uh, fantastic. Thank you for asking. It's a wonderful Friday. I know that's not when this episode is going to air, but I'm looking forward to the weekend. Me too. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a good time. So you and I got to catch up a little bit before our phone call, but for our listeners who don't know you, do you mind introducing yourself and uh, telling us a little bit about your role? Absolutely. My name is Sarah Parsons. I've been with the head for about a year and a half, and I'm a senior subcontracting specialist. Um, and basically, I work with our designated agencies to find subcontractors to do any work that we don't have um, someone on the in-house bench to do. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you for always, you know, bridging that gap and, and making it happen for our clients and for our company. Absolutely. That's what we're here for. Yeah. So the theme of this episode is learning about our total rewards and about the people who are focused on, um, you know, making sure that our well-being is taken care of. And we have you on today because of uh, your experiences with our benefits. I'm really interested if you can share your personal personal experience with one of our benefits, Lavongo, and how it has contributed to your health and well-being. I don't want to take all a ton of time on this, but Lavongo is honestly one of the best programs ever. Um, I've been in Lavongo for about four years, and with the help of Lavongo, I've lost over 123 pounds on my own. What is so great about Lavongo is that it's a total management um, system uh, tool, basically, um, it helps with your emotional health, your diabetes management, weight loss management, and blood pressure. Um, they provide all of the testing supplies for diabetes. They, you also get a smart scale, and you also get a blood pressure cuff. The program is really great, though, because they have a dashboard that you can get on your phone, like an app on your phone, or you can do it via desktop. And what is so great about this dashboard is that it shows you trends in like your eating habits, but also like diabetes management. It's been proven that if you can maintain um, your 
sugar levels versus spikes up and down, that that will help you lose weight. Um, and that has definitely helped me be able to live my best life, basically. And I'm really happy that Ahead has Lavongo. That's amazing. I mean, 123 pounds and, and and all the things that they give you too, right? You're talking about the, the smart scale, the pressure cuff. That's really awesome. Yeah. Was it easy to get started with? It's so easy to get started with. You just go to the website. You just click on the, the thing that says start now. And it's simple. It's so simple. And I didn't even tell you everything that Lavongo has. Like oh. I just touched on a few things. I have a few more things that I want to tell you about actually. So I told you in the beginning, that's a comprehensive tool. I wasn't kidding. Like they provide recipes. They have the dashboard. They have challenges to help you with like weight loss. Um, they track your glucose, your weight, blood pressure. Um, and that helps you identify the trends. And they also have um, the ability to to share all of this tracking information directly with your doctor. Uh -huh. So you don't have to, you know, print like big long logs or anything or keep, you know, write it down on a piece of paper and try to find the pieces of paper. It's all done on the system and you can have it emailed to the doctor directly. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, you know, it's awesome. I think a, a lot of the times the health journey, the first step can be really difficult. And from my, based on my experiences, I've had multiple first steps and I think that's okay. But when it's easy to get started, that's a huge help. It is definitely a huge help. Um, anything revolving around change is very scary. It's very scary and, and change is, you know, a lot of people don't like change. So it's hard to just take that first step, but what, it's really easy with Lavongo because there's just a button and you just press it and that's it. They do everything else for you. Like they sign you up and they're so nice. Like I've had to call them a couple of times because I had problems with my meter and they were awesome. They just helped me and fixed the problem and I was good to go. That's fantastic. I'm wondering, you know, what other parts about this benefit make it stand out among the other benefits you've received? The other thing too, is that they provide the diabetes testing strips and all the tools you need to do that it's free. It's part of the benefit. Um, and I know that there were times when I didn't have this benefit that, you know, the strips were really adding up to like over a hundred dollars a month because I was testing so often. Um, this was in my, you know, early stages of diabetes. Um, but also the other thing, they also provide live support. So say for an example, if I am experiencing low blood sugar, I can actually get right on my little meter and I can press a button and live support will call my phone and ask me what the problem is. And I can tell them, hey, I'm having a low blood sugar and I don't know what to do. And they will kind of coach me through the low blood sugar and, you know, advise me what I need to do. Wow. Man, yeah. it sounds like everything with Lavanga is like press a button and you got what you need. It really truly is like one of the best, best benefits that I've ever experienced. And plus like the testing strips coming free with the benefit and everything, like you said, that stuff can add up. And oh, yeah. I think it, it, it makes like access to this healthcare so much easier than Absolutely. And then they also send you um, the lancets to pick yourself with, and then you can order the supplies right from your meter. You just press a button and everything's all loaded on there and they'll just send your supplies right to your door. It's just great. Like you don't have to go to the pharmacy. It's just literally it's there for you to just use. Man, that is fantastic. I'm so excited that we're offering this. Yes. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm curious, what advice or insights would you give to other employees who are considering using Lavongo as part of their benefits package? Sign up <laughs> today. <laughs> I mean, based off what you're telling me, absolutely. It sounds so easy to get started and easy to get support along the way. It is absolutely. And I know for myself, like the support is really what has kept me going. You know, knowing that not only do I have like my support system in my family and my coworkers and that type of stuff, but I also have professionals, you know, that are there at the touch of a button if I need them. Yeah, that's huge. I think especially in healthcare and when you're trying to navigate it. I mean, for me, I've, um, I've been repeating this in uh, uh, other segments of this podcast, but I find healthcare and benefits to be incredibly intimidating. It is a lot of the times I'm of, I don't know what the first step is or if I'm taking the right first step and what are the costs? What are the implications that are happening based off some of these? I mean, I could, I feel like I can make a couple wrong turns and spend a thousand dollars on accident in a direction I didn't need to go. But when we have a benefit like this, and when we also have the, that Lavongo support and like our total reward support, like we've got people we can call, we're supported. We have that 
that network that we need. Absolutely. And it's great too that you're doing these podcasts because it brings awareness to programs like this. Um, I would suspect that maybe some of Hedians don't know that we have this great program and it really truly has changed my yeah. life. Like I was at the point where, you know, my life was going to be um, significantly shortened if I didn't get my diabetes under control. Um, when I started this journey, you know, my A1C was 14.9. Um, and now I'm down to 5.8, which is a normal A1C, all because of this one program. Lavanda. That's amazing. I'm, I did not know about this benefit until uh, I started doing some research for this podcast. And now that I do, it's amazing that we're offering this. And uh, I want to help spread the word. I want to make sure that, you know, the Hedians know that when they're faced with some of these challenges that, you know, we have benefits and we have people who are focused on making your life easier and healthier. Absolutely. I agree. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, well, it. Well, Sarah, now I appreciate you. Thank you for hopping on here, sharing your story, helping drive awareness around the amazing benefits we have. And honestly, congratulations on your journey. It sounds like you've been doing a lot of hard work and uh, it sounds like it's paying off. Thank you so much. I appreciate All right. it. Well, you have a great rest of your day. You too. Welcome back, listeners. I've got Leslie Pfeiffer here with me today. Leslie, how are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, super excited to uh, to hear your story and get to kind of dive a little bit deeper into uh, how our benefits are impacting our employees. So you and I had the pleasure of uh, introducing ourselves to each other before the call, but for our listeners who don't know you, do you mind introducing yourself and telling us a little bit about your role? Sure. So my name is Leslie Pfeiffer. I've been with the head for about two years and I'm the director of financial reporting. So I'm primarily responsible for um, putting together our annual and quarterly reports that we issue, for example, to our banks and our um, bondholders, and um, also do a lot of other accounting tasks. And I'm kind of an Excel geek. I like to help my colleagues uh, with their reports and try to automate things uh, as much as possible. I'm based out of Colorado Springs and actually started working with the head because I had been a consultant working with the accounting team for about four years prior to joining the company as a as an employee. Yeah, that's great. You know, I wonder how many people at Ahead were either at a client or at one of our partners who now work here. I think it's a really great sign that when, you know, you get to work with Ahead, you want to work at Ahead. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I have you on today because uh, you have had some experiences with Hinge Health, and I'm interested in uh, what your personal experiences have been with Hinge Health and how it's contributed to your health and well-being. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to talk about it. Long story short, I used to have pretty severe knee pain. Um, I don't have as much knee pain anymore. So there you go. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> no. So I'll, I'll elaborate a little bit more. So I'm in my mid fifties. And as we get older, I think, you know, there's sort of this normal aches and pains come with aging. Um, but a few years ago, I started having knee pain in my left knee that was just persistent and just would not go away. I'm really active. I love to work out. I live in Colorado. I love to go hiking. My husband and I ride bikes. I do gardening. And my knee got to the point where even just walking up and down stairs was painful. Uh. And um, I would wear a knee brace. Like if I was working out or riding bikes, I'd wear a knee brace. Or I always had that you know, thick black rock tape around my knee, which, which felt really good. But you know, I'd almost gotten to the point where I thought, I don't know if I'll be able to go on strenuous, strenuous hikes in the mountains anymore, you know, and kind of feeling like I have to live with it. Um, yeah. I had gone to physical therapy off and on in the past, but it was just really burdensome and not sustainable. You know, it'd take me an hour or two hours, you know, going to the PT and, you know, then coming home. They would, they would often give me exercises to do at home, which I would do for about a week, and then I'd stop. Um, I, I had heard about Hinge Health, and honestly, it was when I saw they had this um, promo, get a free yoga mat if you sign up for Hinge Health, Ooh. which kind of prompted me to sign up for it. Yeah. And I thought, honestly, you know, I signed up thinking, why not? Let's give it a try. But I was honestly pretty skeptical. You know, what what's this going to be able to do? And I 
started about six months ago. And I would say within three or four months, my knee is essentially pain-free. It's not a hundred percent gone, but I no longer wear the knee brace when I'm working out. For example, in my workouts, I, I had gotten to the point where I couldn't do squats or lunges or, you know, anything that was really using that knee. Mm -hmm. And now I do my workouts without any sort of tape, without any sort of brace. I can ride my bike. Um, and it's it's wonderful. You know, it's almost miraculous, I would say. Wow. That's great. You know, uh, so we, we had gotten the letters in the mail about Hinge Health recently, or at least I did. And uh, I was telling you a little bit about this before the call, but I I came into my front room last night and um, my wife's over there doing uh, some side lunges. And I look down and 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 it's the Hinge Health app and I'm looking at, I'm like, this looks really great. It looks very modern seemed super easy to use and she also had really like glowing things to say about it granted it's only been one day but (laughs) the the fact that she was able to go from letter to app to exercise in probably less time than it would take for you to even get to the car to go to physical therapy like that's great exactly exactly and i love the app is great um as you said it's very modern so they'll give you a series of exercises to do based on your particular issue and i think they even say like if you have multiple issues that hurt let's just start with one (laughs) so i started with my knee because it was the most um most meaningful one and so there's a series of exercises which include generally both strength and flexibility type things the whole session lasts about 15 20 minutes minutes. So, you know, do it in the comfort of your own home, whatever time of day or night. And um, there's in the app, there's little videos that show you exactly how to do the exercise. And they even give options if you need to make it a little easier, or if you want to make it a little more challenging, um, you just follow along. It times you. Um, so you, you know, hold this movement for 15 seconds or whatever it is. And so it's super simple. The other thing that I really like about it is I do think they're very up to date just in their whole philosophy. Um, After every exercise sessions, there's little articles that you read and they really seem to look at it holistically. Like there's things Um, about mental and emotional and physical aspects to mm -hmm. it you know, and how stress can often, you know, make our pain worse, things like that, where it's not just strict PT, you know, physical therapy. I had always learned, or I had always heard, you know, oh, if something hurts, stop doing whatever is hurting that Mm -hmm. body part. And I'm thinking, I can't stop walking up and down the stairs (laughs) when my knee hurts, you know, and I don't want to stop all these activities. Well, and um, I think that was the medical philosophy 30 years ago, you know, but today, you know, hinge health philosophy is movement is really key. And, you know, you have to be careful, but the fact that you have pain doesn't necessarily mean that you're, or doesn't mean that you're doing damage. You know, sometimes you have to just continue doing these exercises and strengthening to get that body part uh, stronger and able to to do what it needs to do. Um, so yeah. I've been super impressed with the whole approach, I would say. Yeah, I I, I kind of wish I had hinge health after. So I had, I've mentioned this in uh, the previous segments, but I had torn my ACL and MCL uh, being a fool on a pair of skis. I know you're out in Colorado. I'm sure it's, you know, fresh powder, nice, soft, cushy landing up in Wisconsin. It's basically a icy roof and (laughs) nothing to stop you. So uh, I learned that lesson the hard way. But I mean, like, we're talking about full knee brace, me having to go down four flights of stairs, get into a car. For the first couple of weeks, my wife had to drive me to physical therapy. Then she has to come pick me up, bring me back up another four flights of stairs back at it. It's like if I had a physical therapy app on my phone where I could have been doing that in the living room, it would have been way more accessible for me. Now, I I, I did move through physical therapy. I am doing great now. I think it's, it's such an awesome benefit. And the other thing I really liked about it when I saw my wife using it, they've got pictures of the poses that you're supposed to be in both beginning and end. And for me, I, I love that. 
I'm a huge visual learner. I'm a huge hands-on learner. So if I don't have someone already pushing me and showing me what that is, what position I need to get into, it's hard for me to envision that in my head. But when they have the photos of it right there, it's like, okay, feet, shoulder width apart, lean here, boom. This is what it looks like when you're at rest. This is what it looks like when you're in full stretch. I'm like, no brainer. It is, absolutely. And they have those photos that actually, as you're doing the exercises, kind of guide you through it. But then even before, like the first time you get an exercise, they even have videos, which I think are about 30 second videos of an actual, you know, person um, doing the exercise. And so that's great. So you can, you know, and sometimes I'll go back and watch those videos like, oh, I don't remember how I'm supposed to do this. Yeah, one. yeah. You can go back and refresh. Yeah, I know we've been talking about all the great things with Hinge Health and a benefit like this, but I'm curious, what makes this benefit stand out among the benefits you've experienced? Well, I, you know, as an employee, I've always had basic health insurance and dental and vision, um, which are great, but this, this feels more like almost a preventative thing or, um, you know, it's something that's really above and beyond just, you know, having health insurance that covers you when you're sick and you have to go to the doctor. Um, I mean, it's like I said, I, when I started out, I was a little skeptical but it it is absolutely been more than I would have expected in terms of the results that I've seen. I mean, I've truly seen meaningful improvement in my knee pain. It's not 100% gone. It's not, you know, all the time. But like I said, I don't have to wear a knee brace anymore. Um, so I, I feel like it's one of those benefits that's sort of above and beyond just your standard health insurance benefits, if yeah. that makes sense. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's like, okay, I can expect benefits for, hey, broke my leg. Okay, you're going to go to the doctor, you're going to go through the whole rigmarole, it's going to be this whole thing. But if it's something that's maybe like not as immediate as breaking your leg, something a little more wear and tear, right? You have this proactive benefit that you can go and use that's like super easy to go and I'm, I'm like, I'm telling you, I think it's you, you click the link, you sign up the app and the you ask it, what hurts? My knee. All right, let's go. And then let's boom, go. you're already immediately treating something. And I love that it can be preventative and that you can be proactive about it. And I think the whole thing only to, like you can, like you said, I think you can set your time. You got 10 minutes, five minutes, pop the app open, get some stretch yeah. Yep. And they recommend doing at least three times a week, which is about what I do sometimes more. Um, but like I said, it's only, yeah, 15, 20 minutes at a time. And the other cool thing is at one point I had some questions and I was able to schedule a virtual uh, video call with a, like a dedicated physical therapist who's, you know, my dedicated physical therapist. You know, we talked about a couple different things and, you know, had a 15 minute video call and I think a follow-up call a month later. Um, so you can also have that, you know, kind of closer interaction, you know, with the physical therapist as well, if you need it. Man, I'm learning things about our benefits like right now, hearing about that you can schedule a call with a PT and talk it through. I mean, like, it just seems like really comprehensive like you were saying, it's a super comprehensive benefit. It sounds like they're taking care of you from beginning to end. You have a lot of support, right? You want to talk to someone in person. You want to read about what you were just exercising on. Like, how do you take a holistic approach to your health? Uh, it's got it all. Videos, yeah. pictures. Yeah. My favorite. <laughs> articles and success stories and oh there we go yeah of course you get some free stuff like, <laughs> i mean yoga, yoga mat, mat yeah exercise bands so. yeah i mean yoga mat would have got me too i would have been right. like sure it doesn't come in black i'm yep sign up <laughs> this one was purple and purple's one of my oh, favorite colors so. yeah absolutely it's actually the color of my wife's yoga mat maybe she got oh. a hinge <laughs> so uh last question i got for you here what advice or insights would you give to other employees who are considering using hinge health as part of their benefits package i would just say go for it um if you're experiencing any kind of joint pain knee pain shoulder pain elbow pain um i i I think the hinge health name is kind of funny, you know, all of our hinges, it's mm -hmm. all of our joints. But if you're experiencing pain, um, just try it out. I, I don't think there's any downside. It doesn't cost anything to the employee. Um, try it out. I'm sure if it, if you don't see results, I'm sure you can cancel or just stop doing it at any time. Um, but I would highly recommend it and highly recommend uh, anybody try it out. And particularly if somebody's at a point where they're thinking about, you know, you know, they might need knee surgery or shoulder surgery or something like that, I would highly recommend giving this a try um, before doing, you know, any type of surgery. Yeah. Um, 
and it it takes discipline you know you do have to do the exercises so you know it does take some discipline and commitment to actually spend that 15 or 20 minutes three times a week but again the the cost of you know even the the time cost of doing that is so easy versus having to take time out of work to go to the physical therapist spending you know 50 or 70 dollars every time you go um it's just super easy yeah i mean can you download mm -hmm. an app can you watch a 30 second video exercise for 15 minutes three times a week i mean the entire time right let's let's think about like one week worth of pt on hinge health from getting set up to finishing three sessions probably less time than it would take you to just go to one in-person physical therapy session. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Absolutely. So since you have started Hinge Health, what are some of the cool hikes or outdoor adventures that you've done because your knee feels better? A lot of bike riding, nothing real crazy, but we, you know, it's Colorado, so it's hilly. So we're um, uh, you know, doing some pretty str fairly strenuous bike rides. And again, I'm, I'm one of these maybe weird people. I love working out and I do various classes, weightlifting step type classes. Mm -hmm. And just to be able to do those things without the pain is just is great. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I, on the biking thing, I'm from Chicago. Dad, so I'm right. sure whatever bicycling you're doing in Colorado is 10, 20 times more strenuous than anything I'm doing over here at cornfields and flatlands. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, Leslie, thank you so much for hopping on our podcast and sharing your story. I got to learn a lot and uh, it's been wonderful uh, meeting you and learning more about your experiences. Well, it's been great meeting you too. And thanks for having me on. Awesome. That's a wrap for today's episode of the Life at a Head podcast. We hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into a head's total rewards team and the incredible benefits they bring to a head. It's all about making a head a place where our employees thrive and feel truly cared for. And a special thank you to our Ahedians who shared their inspiring stories of how these benefits have changed their lives for the better. Your experiences are a testament to the impact our Total Rewards team is making. If you found this episode as inspiring as we did, please consider subscribing to our podcast and leaving a review. Your feedback means the world to us, and it helps us bring you even more valuable content in the future. If you have any questions or ideas for future episodes, reach out to us on social media or internally through Teams. We love hearing from our listeners. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to having you with us in future episodes. Remember to take care and that your well-being matters. As always, stay tuned, stay well, and stay ahead, Ahedians. <laughs>